Let's talk about an elite player that maybe doesn't get talked about as an elite player for several reasons. For one, being just an offensive lineman, you don't get the credit that you probably deserve. But I also think even for offensive lineman standards, he gets slept on a bit. So let's, you know, talk about what makes him effective. So let's start off with this play. It's going to be a run defense or run uh run blocking play you see where he is on the field and he's going to be going up to block 51 for Arizona the uh you know linebackers so okay has to get to the next level quickly that's what he's gonna have to do look at how right when his play begins he basically immediately is up to that next level and he has the hand placement that he wants I mean this is a great situation right away and now you're not even blocking a defensive lineman you're blocking a linebacker so because of that, watch him move him very far out of the way, and he did his part to create a window for the running back to get through. These are the kind of plays that Darisaw does very consistently. And again, for offensive linemen, one of the things that makes offensive linemen film studies a little bit difficult is the fact that, like, Every offensive lineman is going to have good plays and bad plays. It's really a consistency thing. To me, this is not just a good play. It is a great play, and he does these great plays consistently. If you look at his pro football focus grades, you're going to see that so far through two seasons, his first year, you know, didn't play as much, only 652 snaps, uh, but still graded out well in those snaps, uh, much more as a run blocker. The pass blocking was kind of, you know, he had a little bit of issues he had to clean up, but in year two, he has cleaned up those issues. He posted a grade of over 90. This is, if you're over 90, you're an elite level player, typically is how like the PFF grades work, and he was at an elite level of play last year. I think there's, you know, no denying that. Let's show some pass blocking because that's the fun stuff, right? I mean, run blocking, I think, is interesting in its own way, but you want to see how someone can pass protect, and he can do it very well. Sometimes I think one of the best ways to, you know, on this play, it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one matchup, and sometimes I think one of the best ways to tell how good a tackle is isn't necessarily just by watching their wins, but it's by watching what edge rushers do to try and beat them, watching what their strategy is. And this is a great example where watch what's going to happen for the Arizona edge rusher here. As you see, he's going to just try and bull rush uh, Darisaw, try to see if he can overpower him. And the reason he's doing this is because, you know, one of the things that Darisaw got a lot of attention for coming out of college was his incredibly long arms, very long arms. And again, I kind of view it as if you have long arms to short arms, I don't really care. It's more about just, you know, how you use them. Are you being able to pass block? That's what I care about. Do you pass block well? Uh, but part of how he pass blocks well and why he pass blocks well is due to those long arms. Guys don't want to try and get around him. So instead, they're going to try and see if they can overpower him. Okay, let's see how that strategy works out. As you might have guessed, it did not work out too well. Uh, there's just really no, uh, you know, threat at any point and then Kirk Cousins look at what Kirk Cousins is doing Kirk Cousins uh, didn't realize he's uh, not Lamar Jackson on that play he looked like it what a what a great run by Cousins uh you know fun play there but really good block by Darisaw throughout that and again it's kind of a thing where it almost sometimes makes your job easier when you're a good tackle because guys don't feel like they can try and beat you in specific ways I feel like this is another one where, like, I'm convinced this is easy for Darisol. Like, I'm convinced sometimes he's, you know, uh, wall pass blocking, still thinking about, like, what he's going to have for dinner uh, when he gets done with the game or something like that. Because watch what he's going to do on this play. There's, you know, Arizona trying to fool the Minnesota offensive line. They have a lot of guys lined up on the line of scrimmage. 47, which is the guy Darisol probably is, you know, looking at the closest, is going to drop back into coverage. But... You know, so this already could fool you because you're supposed to always block from the inside out. That's how you're supposed to do it. Uh, but still, I mean, you're a tackle. You're expecting the guy who's, you know, lined up uh, towards you be the guy you end up blocking. However, first off, Darisaw notices this very well. And good job by his guard to make sure that Darisaw had it. But Darisaw does have it. Uh, so already in pretty good uh, position and using his right arm to, uh, you know, extended to keep the defensive lineman who's trying to pass rush here further out. But okay, it's basically a one-on-one -on -one matchup at this point. What's going to happen? Well, again, as you see, Darisaw, I mean, he makes it look easy. Like, that just feels so easy for him, how he's simply able to make that work. Uh, you know, and when you're pass blocking guys consistently one-on-one -on -one and making it look easy, yeah, that is kind of one thing that if you do that, I'm like, okay, you're probably an elite level uh, tackle at this point, I think. 
Also, this one, this one's a fun one. So what's going to happen is the way the run blocking concept works, he's going to uh, double team someone off the edge, but then get up to block a linebacker. That's the way that this is supposed to work. Right when this play begins, you see that for Derisaw, they, you know, uh, get that player out of the way. He's in position to block the linebacker. The linebacker doesn't really see him coming. So why am I showing this play if it's such a good situation for Derisaw? Well, watch how he just completely delivers a blow that knocks the linebacker down. Listen, is that a great indicator of how good Derisaw is? I don't know. Maybe not. But I don't know. It feels like the best uh, tackles in the league also find a way to knock guys uh, towards the to the ground, right? How many times have we watched Trent Williams footage and seen, oh wow, look at him be able to just you know knock these guys to the ground consistently? It, it happens, it does. Uh, Derisaw is someone who can do that. Is it again? Is this the main reason I like Derisaw? No, but it's fun to include in a YouTube video, so that's what I did. As a whole, the main thing you I, that I like about Derisaw is just how consistent he wins. It's, uh, you know, uh, I do look like analytics when it comes to offensive linemen, and his analytics are very good. If you want to look at his, uh, you know, PFF grades from college, this is a great indicator of future success at the NFL level. You see that he consistently got better year after year when he was in college at Virginia Tech, and his last year posted a grade of over 95. I mean, that is just a, a tremendous grade right there, and these things do translate to the next level. So he has someone who he's someone who literally the past five years now has gotten better every single year. I mean, he got better all three years in college, and now has gotten better both years he's been in the NFL. I mean, I guess technically you could argue, did he get better from his last year in college to his first year at the NFL level? He was going up against tougher competition, uh, so I'll still say yes. Uh, so every year he's, you know, in either faced a, a harder uh, competition or gotten better or debatably both, uh, which is just incredibly impressive for someone like Derisaw. So as good as he is now, if he doesn't improve, it would be a rarity for him. It's totally possible that he could continue to grow and get better as a player. Now, that might feel a little bit crazy because like, I don't know where else he really has to go from here. His technique is pretty perfect. His you know uh, physicality is pretty perfect at this point. I don't see how he could get better. But you know what? I'm also not betting against him getting better because he's already consistently done it. And it does... It makes you start to wonder, I'm not saying this is going to happen, but it makes you start to wonder, could there be a Trent Williams-esque run in him where he does continue to take that next step and not just become one of the great tackles right now, but become the great tackle right now? Is that in the cards? I think it's in the cards. I, I can picture that scenario. Again, there are several guys I can picture that scenario with, but he's someone who, for a second-year player, he shouldn't be this good at pass blocking and run blocking, and he certainly is. So uh, if he continues to take the next step and grow and get better and better and better, uh, with, which is what he typically does, yeah, I, I see no reason why he can't continue to grow as a player and continue to uh, get better and become on that level. Uh, so either way, Vikings fans, I'm sure, are very happy to have him. What do you think of all of this? Let me know in the comments below. What are your thoughts on Christian Derisaw? Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.